Hello. Hello, beautifuls. This is Leisha coming to you live from the Sunshine Coast, where it is sticky. It is very warm <laughs> compared to Melbourne. So my Monday message today, friends, I have been watching a course through Commune, which is a new thing that um, Russell Brand has set up. And one of the courses I was watching was Dr. Zach Bush, and he was talking about longevity, and he was talking about the fact that these telomeres that we have, that we want to lengthen them if you want to have kind of a longer, more vibrant life here and really enjoy our time. We want to, you know, be energetic. And one of the things that they've scientifically determined that uh, lengthens our telomeres, I was very excited to hear because I do it a lot, uh, is chanting and using sound and vibration and that we have this unique signature uh, with our voice that is created because of the way that our skull is set up and structured. So amazing. So doing lots of uh, chanting and spiritual singing uh, is very good for our telomeres, for lengthening our telomeres, which is exciting to know. And then I jumped on the plane this morning from Melbourne to Sunshine Coast and I picked up this little book, uh, The Airport, which many of you may have read. And Ikikai is this concept in Japan um, around really relishing your life and living this beautiful, purposeful life. And some of the key concepts in this were around being happily busy. I love this idea because I know sometimes we have gone off the word busy because we don't want to be like this frantic busy, but this concept of being happily busy, really, you know, filling our time in ways that also include stillness and slowness and silence, but that we have this meaning and uh, purpose in our lives. And some of the other things that this little book spoke about is around having these daily rituals, which I love because you know I talk about them a lot. Just trying to look at what else I've flagged in here. Give you the synopsis so you think, well, you might want to go read it as well. So one of the big studies found that people who live the longest have two dispositional traits in common. One, a positive attitude, and two, a high degree of emotional awareness. In other words, those who face challenges with a positive outlook and are able to manage their emotions are already well on their way to longevity. And we know that all of the things external are going to keep coming, right? There's always going to be different things. There's always going to be different challenges. I think my phone might be overheating now. <laughs> um, but it's only when, it's just, it is an inside job, when we're able to you know, manage our emotions, our responses uh, to all the things that come and really ride the waves uh, as best as we can. Not always easy. Sometimes days are messier than others. But hopefully a lot of the things that my guides share and all that I share as well is around this concept of really living this life that you relish that you love that you wake up every day feeling you are have meaning in our lives because also as well as enjoying our lives it gives us longevity so they're kind of my main my main messages and I'm going to leave you now and I'm going to sit by the pool, friends, and uh, enjoy a little bit of time out. And I hope that you're able to find some time out in your day as well for yourself uh, so that it's not just frantic, 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 but really just coming back to presence, coming back into the moment. Because this is the only moment that we have for sure, this moment right now. So remember your breath, do some chanting, do some singing. Um, get those telomeres lengthened 
and yeah if you want to it's a very quick read I literally read it on the way between Melbourne and Sunshine Coast super fast read but got some got some good stuff in there so I hope you have a great week guys uh, I might see you later in the week we'll see anyone if anyone in Sunshine Coast come uh, I've got an event on Thursday night and let me know if you're here or if you've got friends in Sunshine Coast be great to see you great to meet you Take good care of yourselves, friends. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.